Our goal at Pickleball Central is to get you the perfect paddle for your game. But that doesn't always mean you need to go out and buy a new paddle. For just a few bucks, you can improve the stability and power potential of a paddle you already own. Today, we are diving deep into paddle modification with weighted tape and what it can do for your game. Let's get started. All you really need to customize your paddle is some weighted tape, but knowing exactly where to put it can be confusing. Using the head four in one machine, we're able to break down the most common weighted tape configurations on a paddle and exactly what that does for your paddle's swing weight, twist weight, and balance point. As we explored in a previous video, raising the swing weight of a paddle actually increases its plow through on contact, giving you more power potential. When we raise twist weight, we're actually increasing the stability of the paddle on off-center hits, making it harder to rotate, and making the sweet spot feel larger on contact. It's important to remember that too high a swing weight can slow down your swing speed and hand speed at the net, and too high a twist weight can make it harder to make last second paddle adjustments, controlling exactly where the ball is gonna go, and too high a balance point actually slows down your hand speed at the net even more. Knowing the right balance between all three of these and being able to apply that to your paddle is gonna make a huge impact in your game. Let's explore the three most common weighted tape configurations in pickleball. The three main weighted tape configurations in pickleball are the bottom corners and the throat of the paddle, the sides of the paddle at three and nine o'clock, and then the top corners of the paddle. Now, these three configurations all have different impacts on paddle performance. In this experiment, we are gonna add 0.2 ounces to each side in each one of these weighted tape configurations and measure their exact impact on swing weight, twist weight, and balance point, and how that affects the paddle's performance. When we added this weight to the bottom corners and the throat of the paddle, it resulted in a 9% increase in twist weight, which is pretty significant, a nominal increase in swing weight, and actually lowered the balance point slightly. Now what that means for this paddle's performance is the increase in twist weight is gonna make the paddle more stable and more secure on off-center hits, We've lowered the balance point slightly, giving a little bit of benefit in hand speed and maneuverability at the net, all while protecting the swing weight and not raising it too much, making it still accessible to most players. This is an incredibly common weighted tape configuration because of its benefits and stability without making the paddle that much harder to swing. When we add that weight to the sides of the paddle at three and nine, we actually notice a notable three and a half point increase in swing weight, which you will be able to feel, but isn't huge. We noticed a 12% bump in twist weight, which is the most stable position we've found with weighted tape configurations. And we did raise the balance point slightly. Now what this means for your game is you're gonna get max stability with this configuration. You will raise your swing weight and power potential slightly. And with a slightly raised balance point, the paddle's gonna get a little slower in hand, but for many, the increase in stability you get with this placement is gonna be well worth the trade-off in slightly slower hand speed. Weighting the top corners of the paddle resulted in an eight point increase in swing weight, which is pretty significant. We've got a 9% increase in twist weight, the very same as adding weight to the bottom corners. And we've got a slight raising of the balance point, uh, a little bit higher than putting the weight at the three and nine positions. Predictably, this put our Versix Brawl in the highest tier of swing weight paddles that we've tested, unlocking tons of power potential and stability at the expense of some hand speed at the net. So if you're looking for a little bit more stability and forgiveness in your game, but don't want to sacrifice any hand speed at the net, using the bottom corners is going to be a great choice with your weighted tape. If you want maximum stability and don't mind a little bit of increase in swing weight being slightly harder to swing at the net, but unlocking your paddle's full potential for consistency and forgiveness, Waiting the three and nine positions is gonna be the setup for you. Now, if you're not getting the power you want out of your paddle and you find it pretty easy to swing, the top corners could be an excellent choice to unlock more power potential and plow through than came stock, all while improving the stability of the paddle if you can handle the increase in swing weight and the slight raise of the balance point. We, of course, would love for you to find the perfect paddle for your game at Pickleball Central but it's important to understand exactly which performance characteristics you love. And weighted tape modification could be the one thing you need to unlock your paddle and your game's full potential. Check out our full blog breakdown on everything we talked about today and more at pickleballcentral.com. And if you like this kind of content and wanna see more of it, please consider liking and subscribing. We will see you next time.